Hey y'all, happy Monday. Today is day one of officially not being on carnivore anymore. <sighs> if you guys have not seen or watched that video yet to my results on carnivore, I will link it up there somewhere. But before I do anything in this video, I want to say happy birthday to that big guy right there. Happy birthday, Oscar. Thank you. And um, he's 47 years young. Really? So, yeah. <laughs> We are actually headed to Red Robin. We are gonna go out to dinner with his parents and the kids. So, how many of you guys did carnivore with me? Leave a comment down below. Um, if you did carnivore, if you liked it, if you know how you felt on it, if you thought it was sustainable or not, just let me know. I'm just curious what you guys' thoughts were. But, as you saw, I had a coffee this morning with my Jordan skinny syrup oh. Hallelujah! that was freaking amazing when you haven't had that in a week and then also I had a raspberry muffin that I made in my meal prep so definitely check that meal prep out as well I'll link that up there somewhere as well and holy freaking cow I put a little bit of the um, butter toffee in those muffins again Check out that meal prep because those things are freaking bomb. Definitely, definitely so worth trying. You could use any kind of berry though. Really doesn't even matter. I just chose raspberries. And um, yeah, that's all I've had so far. It is about, it's a little after two. And um, like I said, we're gonna go out to eat. You guys are probably gonna think that I'm crazy because I'm going to get a burger with a fried egg on top and some bacon. So yeah. Even though the carnivore challenge is over, I'm going carnivore, y'all. I might have a side salad or something with it. But you know what? Just remember, you guys, this is the beginning of the week. This is Monday. This is a new week. So whether you did carnivore, whether you did keto, whether you splurged and you fell off the wagon, whatever, this is a new week. Stay strong. We got this. Just be thankful that this is a new week. You can start over. Even if you had a cheat meal, a cheat week, whatever, today is Monday, start over, stay strong, and you got this. Let's kill this week. dessert is about ready to go down and we are having a chocolate chip cookie if you have not seen my meal prep video then definitely head over there and watch that now these things are freaking bomb Told myself to push and never stop I've been stressed out Watching both these hands around the clock With my eyes wide Trying to get the panorama shot Whole world getting blurry to me Answers getting lost So I watch my We're killing the time today, y'all to the front And remember that the world's yours Do it how you want You've been waiting here for too long Think it's time for you to move on Realize that there's real lies And these real times will be strong We killed it It usually takes me 22 to 23 minutes To finish five miles on the bike not today, 19 minutes, baby. Oh, and I forgot her tie again.
forever grinding. Waiting for my time to shine just like a diamond. Yeah. When life is rough and I ain't with that funny stuff, I use it all as motivation, but it's hard to have the patience. Watching time fly by might be the hardest thing I have to do in life. On fire is how I'm going to explain that workout. That workout was on freaking point. I got five miles in just barely over 19 minutes. Usually it takes me 22 to 23 minutes to do five miles on the bike. Oh yeah, not today, not for this girl. I had so much energy that I busted through that like it was nothing today, where the last few times I've done it, it's been a struggle. I don't know why I had so much energy. I don't know if it's because I'm back on keto and I had a little bit of carbs. I don't know, but I had so much energy and I felt like the Energizer Bunny on that bike, just going and going and going, and I was not dying. And then we did our back workout, which <laughs> that was killer too. And my back's probably gonna be sore. That was an awesome freaking workout. Awesome freaking workout, you guys. Just remember, you know, don't sabotage yourself when it comes to working out. Don't sabotage yourself when it comes to diet. Don't sit there and tell yourself you can't do it because you can. If I can do it, anybody can. I am living proof that it can be done. I was that person that tried every single diet in the freaking book and nothing worked. It can be done. Don't sabotage yourself. It doesn't matter how fast or slow you go. Just freaking get out there and do it. I don't care if I'm la the last one to cross that finish line as long as I cross that finish line because <laughs> this girl ain't quitting no matter what, no matter what somebody tells me. A lot of us sabotage ourselves. You know, we, we put horrible things into our own heads. We sit there and think that we can't do it. We sit there and think that it's too hard. We sit there and think that we don't have time. No, we have time. It's not too hard. If you have to start out slow, start out slow, but don't sabotage yourself. Good morning, happy Friday. So I'm gonna start this day off right and I'm going to have a preferred elements keto collagen shake. And I'm going to make it with this chocolate flavor here. And I'm gonna throw one small avocado in there. But right now I have a couple pieces of ice and somebody did tell me that I could freeze the avocado and throw it in there. So I probably should start doing that. One cup of cashew milk and then one scoop of the preferred keto collagen that I always have linked down below in the description box. This stuff is delicious. Y'all have heard me talk about this so many times, but I can't talk highly enough, especially the chocolate flavor because I am a chocolate girl. But let's get this day started. Hey y'all, I would say good morning, but it's actually afternoon now. It's almost two o'clock and I'm getting ready to go pick up my groceries at Walmart. I did the Walmart online grocery pickup. But the only thing I've had today to eat is um, that collagen shake with that small avocado. So I'm getting kind of hungry. And this company here reached out to me. It is Noosh and they gave me a mixed flavor cake. And so let me just show you what is inside here. So that is what the box looks like. The, the company is Noosh. And in the box you get six 2.1 ounce cakes. And right here it says breakfast on the go, great for a snack, dessert, no sugar. So again, they gave me a mixed flavor case. So every single one of these are different. So here is a peanut butter cake. Here is a carrot spice cake, blueberry cake banana nut cake, cherry almond cake, and there is a pineapple mango. And as you can see, pineapple mango, if I could talk. Not all of them are the same net carbs. So like this one's four net carbs, the peanut butter one's only two net carbs. I think some of them's only three net carbs. This is one of them that I tried. I tried it at work the other day, and it, this is the blueberry cake. This one's actually really, really good. Let me show you the back. So there are the macros for it. It's 160 calories, 12 grams of fat, carbs are 18, but the fiber is four, total sugars is one, and there is 11 sugar alcohols and five grams of protein. And then there are the ingredients. I'll just let you guys kind of look at the rest. 
But I personally really enjoyed these and I was kind of surprised because I thought for sure these were, were going to have like psyllium husk in them or something because they do have kind of that psyllium husk kind of texture to be honest with you. So here's kind of my review on these. I think that if you like things made with psyllium husk you're gonna like these but if you don't like things with psyllium husk you may not but you know then again what do I know and I feel like that's just my own personal review and I feel like everybody just really needs to taste things on their own and decide on their own if they like these or not but I personally think that these are really good I think it's great for on the go when you don't have anything made and um, I thoroughly enjoyed trying these. So I just want to say thank you to Nush for sending me these to try them. And here it kind of gives you the carb breakdown for everybody that doesn't know. Net carbs is carbohydrates minus dietary fiber minus the sugar alcohols. And then you get your net carb. So anyway, yeah, I've tried the blueberry. I thought it was really good. I, and like I said, I got a little hungry. So I'm just going to have one of these. And I'm trying the peanut butter one right now. It is two net carbs. But like I said, I like them and I feel like everybody just really needs to try things on their own and see if you're going to like them. All right, so that is what the cake looks like after it's half gone. <laughs> and that is what the inside looks like. And as you, if you can see, there's actually even nuts in there. So like I said, this is actually pretty good. I think I like this one even better than I like the blueberry one, but I am a peanut butter girl all the way. All right, so we are headed to Walmart to go pick up our groceries that I ordered online. And then there was a couple things that I forgot to put in there and I hate it when that happens because now I gotta go in the store too. The struggle is real, you guys. Um, but, I wanted to go to the gym so bad today, not gonna make it because I have that party that we're gonna go to tonight. And struggle life is real because I work 12 hour shifts. I only work three days a week. Okay, so here's the thing. I only work three days a week. I get that a lot. They're like, what is your problem, girl? You only work three days a week, but they're 12 hour shifts. So literally I'm gone all day long. So I'm gone. I leave my house at eight o'clock in the morning and I don't get home until 10 o'clock at night. So that's pretty much three entire days wiped out of your week completely. Just, it just is. So I get nothing done on the days that I have to work. So I worked three days in a row. I worked Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then I don't know, where are my 12 hour shift peeps? Because who else feels like once you're done with your three days, you just have so much to do. Like my house needed to be cleaned. I needed to go grocery shopping. I had to edit videos. I just, it's always something. The struggle is real. <laughs> so at least when I worked five days a week, cause I just recently went to 12 hour shifts. At least when I worked five days a week, I felt like I had at least part of the day to like get things done every single day. Where when I work three twelves, like that's three days gone but I'm not complaining because I'll still take 12 hour shifts and only working three days a week any day so anyway I'm not gonna make it to the gym tomorrow we also have our movie night as well at our house so tonight is the party at my brother's tomorrow night is the movie night at our house so it's gonna be another busy weekend but that's okay that's what life's about y'all is getting together being busy and just spending time with family and friends because that is what is important all right we got us some burgers cooking up and i just seasoned them with some of this montreal steak seasoning so so good on there and i'm gonna give those pieces a flip and i like mine a little bit red in the middle oh yeah you're looking good part of our week may be over but not for this girl all right dinner is served so i'm gonna eat two burgers with two pieces of provolone cheese and that is just mayonnaise i get the chosen food mayo this has completely clean ingredients and then i also use this heinz no sugar added ketchup and this is going to be bomb this is going down Nothing like a carnivore meal here. Hey y'all, happy.
happy Saturday. So today I was planning on going to the gym, didn't make it, and I'm not gonna make it, but I did go for a 45 minute walk, which is fine with me because like I've mentioned many times before, I love working out outside, especially when the weather is nice. Um, but update on last night. So uh, we had a great time. We went to that party and I wasn't for sure what kind of food they were gonna have. So I had those hamburgers and stuff. Well, they ended up having pizza and wings. So I ended up eating um, three wings, and then I did try those wisps, the bacon, what are they? Bacon barbecue wisps. If you guys watch my grocery haul, then I had them in there. My review on them is they're okay. They're not terrible, but I wouldn't say that they're gonna be my next favorite treat or anything like that. Um, so just left Walmart because my tripod broke, and I think it had help by maybe like little fingers or something just saying um and then now we're headed to Costco we're gonna go get our Costco on i um, gonna try not to spend too too much money I'm trying to be better with like not buying things that I don't need especially with the holidays right around the corner um we'll see how well that goes and then I got my movies we went to the red box got the movies for our movie night so we are going to be watching Annabelle comes home and the nun so the nun we actually went to the movies and watched that and holy freaking cow That movie is scary. I screamed the entire time. I don't know I probably scared people in the movie theater more with me screaming than just the movie alone But that movie is really scary and I haven't seen Annabelle comes home yet. So we'll see but um, We are just getting here to Costco. So I'm gonna run in there and get what we need so we can get home and finish doing everything we got to do before people start. Right, so I'm going to have a little yeah, snack because I'm getting a little bit hungry and I'm going to like just going to have some of these pork rinds and then my mom made this. It's called a cheese log and it is cream cheese, cheddar cheese, jalapenos, sour cream, sour cream red pepper flakes, salt. salt and pepper, Italian seasoning, and it is freaking delicioso. Perfect for veggies. We got pizza for the people that are being bad, but the people that are being good, we are going to either put it on veggies or pork rinds. And uh, that is bomb. First meal of the day is gonna be kind of like a crepini cheese quesadilla. And then I did have some eggs that didn't fit on the crepini, so I'm just gonna eat those on the side. But bon appetit. A breakfast quesadilla. Sort of. But I know that I'm gonna make it if I chase that check. Yes. Cause I done seen a time go by for too many years now when the stars were aligned. Cause I done seen the time go by Yeah, I done seen the time go by I've been waiting all my life And it was right before my eyes Happy Sunday! So we are just leaving. It was kind of like a meat truck, um, meat food truck, but the company is called Good Ranchers and they sell tons of really good cuts of meat and it's all grass fed they're only in town here in arizona for a few days and today is their last day so by the time you've seen this unfortunately they'll be gone but i guess they go all over the place all kinds of different states so when oscar actually saw them on facebook what caught his eye is they were offering 24 ounce steaks for only 29 bucks so that's why we originally went out there so that's originally what we were the only thing we were going to get which would have been just those red boxes back there but they were such good deals that we ended up getting the big box full of a variety of different kinds of meats as well and like i said when i get home i'll show them to you but it ended up being like 180 bucks for all that meat which is super cheap especially considering they're grass fed today is kind of like a no hairdo, um, no makeup kind of day. That's why I threw on a hat. Hey, if you ever don't want to do your hair, hats work perfect. <laughs> God bless hats when you don't want to do your hair. 
It's already 2.49. I've just been super busy. I've been uh, meal prepping and um, I had my coffee. Y'all saw what I ate for the first meal of the day. Still not hungry. I'll probably eat something a little bit later. And um, I forgot to mention that all this week, instead of doing a shake, I've been having my collagen, but I've been putting my collagen in my coffee. So yeah, I always forget to mention that. So if it's a day where I don't um, have my collagen shake with my avocado and stuff, I probably put it in my coffee, unless it's a day that I'm trying to do a little more like strict carnivore. But yeah, I'll go home and show you what we got. I'm so excited, those steaks look so good. All right, so these two here were the first two. Um, these were the ones that we were supposed to buy for only $29 if we would have stopped there. But these are USDA choice beef fillets thick cut and you get in each box there's 10 four ounce steaks. So this is what they look like and there's 10 in each one of these. So I bet you these are good. So that's what we would have got for $29 if we would have stopped there. Then we ended up getting the um, this big bad boy here too because it was just such a good deal that we couldn't pass it up. Like I said, all of this is grass fed steaks, but let me dig in here. So, so in here you get an one, two, three, four, five. You get five more boxes full of steaks. So this one here is the prime pure chopped beef steaks and that is what they look like. You get eight of those. Then this one is the sirloin um, pepper steaks, and that's what those look like. And all of these are vacuum sealed, and he said that these will last up to two years. So the lifespan of these in your freezer is a long time. And you get five of these. Then this next one is the beef loin porterhouse steaks. And these are the big bad boys, and you get two of those. Those look good. Can't wait to try those. Next up is the beef tenderloin steaks, and you get four of those. And all this meat in the stores, they even had a comparison chart of, um, I believe it was fries and bashes or something like that, or maybe it was Safeway. But let's just say that it was way cheaper to buy through them for sure so and again they're called good ranchers so if you guys ever see them in your area your town or whatever i would highly recommend checking them out there is their website if you do want to check them out and see maybe when they're coming to your part of town but um yeah I, you know me you guys i am super cheap when it comes to stuff so for me to buy this that it was a good deal then last but not least are these bone-in center cut New York strip steaks. And these are some good looking little steaks as well and you get three of these. And again, I like the fact that they are all vacuum sealed and um, it again, it lasts for two years. I mean, it's not gonna last us two years because uh, we're a larger family, but it doesn't even matter. Like, it's still a really good deal. And this company, another thing too I thought I'd mention is this company said that they come into town, here in Arizona anyway, twice a year. So, um, yeah, I, again, highly recommend them. I would just check them out and um, see possibly when you guys may be able to snag some of this. So obviously we haven't tasted any of these yet. We haven't cooked any of them and we haven't um, tried them out, but... If you go on Facebook, that's, like I said, that's how Oscar um, saw them. If you go on Facebook, then uh, we just read all the comments and stuff like that, and we didn't see any negative comments. Everybody said that they are so good, so worth the money. Anyway, go on there, check them out, see if they're going to visit your area anytime soon. And like I said, I mean, it had to have been a good deal for me to, <laughs> to do it. Okay, so I had another company reach out to me. It is called Low Carb and it is Keto Granola. 
And they make three different kinds. So this one is the nut. They have a blueberry and they have a chocolate one. Um, they let me pick which one I wanted to try. I chose the nut one. So it is 18 grams of fat, two net carbs, keto friendly, diabetic friendly, gluten free, non-GMO. There are the macros. So the total carbs is 10, but there's four fibers and four sugar alcohols. And there's only one sugar, so I didn't think that that was too bad. There And there are the ingredients, super, super clean ingredients. So I gave this a try. This is super delicious in my opinion. I um, had it just like a bowl of cereal. And the serving size is one third cup, so I didn't think that that was too bad. It was filling, like it filled me up. You don't even know how excited I was to have a bowl of cereal again. It was freaking bomb. And that's kind of what they um, recommend for the use anyway, is to just add milk and enjoy it like a breakfast cereal. But they also say you can eat it right out of the bag, put, add it to fruits and berries, soak it for a little bit in your yogurt. But again, I thoroughly enjoyed this. So that's what it looks like. It's, um, you know, lots of nuts and stuff like that. But let me take a little bit out in this plate. And so that's kind of what it looks like outside of the bag. But again, I thought that this was really good. The flavor is really good. It kind of has like a, kind of like a honey flavor. It's sweet, but it's not like overbearing sweet. And again, if you're missing cereal on keto, this could be a great option. I'll have a link down below if you all want to give it a try. All right, so I also thought I'd give you guys an update on this pillow that I got at Costco. It is the Pure Lux Simply Pillow Gel Memory Foam one. I got this like a month ago, and um, I think it was like, I wanna say 25 bucks. It was on sale, or 30 bucks, something like that. I don't even remember now. But just letting you guys know, and I, yes, I usually have a pillowcase over it, but I just wanted to show you guys. But this is like uh, the best pillow ever, just saying. I actually love that thing. You know what? It was funny because I was kind of waking up kind of like with back aches and I thought it was my mattress, but now I'm wondering if it was a pillow because I haven't had a, um, a back ache since I started using this pillow. Not sponsored, nothing, but I love this freaking pillow. So just throwing that out there if y'all want to give it a try. I would end the night going for a nice hike up here at Spook Hill and we kind of missed the sunset it's kind of hard to see but I was hoping to get up here before the sunset but we missed it but that's okay because there's always tomorrow or another day <laughs> but to kind of recap this week as far as what I did for exercise Monday I went to the gym Tuesday I went for a walk before work then honestly Wednesday Thursday and Friday I didn't do anything Saturday I went for a walk Today we went for a walk this morning. I went for a walk this morning with Oscar and then hiked up this. So definitely not like on my game this week as far as workouts in my opinion because I really like to hit the gym twice and I really like to walk more than that, especially on the days that I work. But that's okay, you know, at least I moved. That's the biggest thing is just move. Uh, but again, I know I've said this before on my vlogs. I just want to thank every single one of you again. You guys are killing it. You guys are doing amazing. I have been getting so many DMs, I've been getting so many tags and posts, and um, some of you guys are mentioning me in your story, but mostly DMs, that's what I've mostly been getting, and it's of you guys, of letting me know how much you've lost, sending me progress pictures, telling me that, you know, you are killing it on your meal preps, and just keep going you guys you guys are freaking killing it i'm so proud of each and every one of you guys thank you for including me in your journey and thanking of me to tag me or dm me and let me know and thank you for just letting me in and just being a part of it because it's amazing watching all of you guys lose the weight meal prep you know just get healthy for yourself and your family 
Some of you have even DM'd me saying that your spouse lost this much weight because you inspired them. And it's like, oh, you guys are just, I love it. You guys are on freaking fire. And I'm like, just dying inside. I would love to meet every single one of you guys and just give you a great big hug. So some of you guys wanted me to give you an update on kind of how it was going after the carnivore challenge. So this week I lost another pound and a half, which is really good for me because on keto I was barely losing any, I mean I would lose, but it was like barely, like an ounce here, an ounce there. It wasn't much at all or I would stay the same. There's times I go up and down and whatever. I think mixing carnivore and keto is going to be really good for me and I really think that I just needed to add that extra push to challenge myself and adding carnivore I think is that push that my body must have needed because it's working. And you guys know me, I don't really totally believe in the scale but I did go ahead and weigh for you guys um, and I don't know if I'll weigh every week because like I said I don't believe in that. I think that keto and carnivore and doing something better for yourself, eating eating a certain way and making yourself healthier is just that, you know. It's not always just about the weight loss. It's about getting healthy, learning to um, have control over your body, having control over what you eat instead of what, you know, food controlling you. I feel like this way of eating has made me happier, it's made me healthier, it's made me stronger, and that is what is important too. It's not just about weight, it's not just about the scale. The scale can be the devil, so just remember that, you guys. It's fine to weigh yourself, but just use it as a tool. And if it's gonna be a tool that's gonna discourage you, then maybe you need to just kind of put it away for a little while. Because just remember, you guys, and I'm gonna repeat it again, it's not just about the weight loss, it's about being happy, it's about being healthy, it's about being strong, it's about being a better us for ourselves, for our loved ones, for God, for everybody. So just remember that you guys, but I am going to end this vlog here with this beautiful view. I hope you guys have an amazing week coming up and I hope you guys killed it this week. And even if you did fall off the wagon, it's not a big deal. Jump back on. Just don't end up in that rut where you continue to cheat. If you cheated, oh well, don't beat yourself up jump back on the wagon, get back on your way of eating, no matter what it is, if it's keto, paleo, whatever, counting calories, just get back in the game and start killing it again. Always remember, if you need somebody to talk to, follow me on Instagram, DM me on Instagram, you know, if you need that extra push to help you not binge or cheat or whatever, follow me down there. I'll leave a link in my description box right here. Follow me on Instagram and just DM me if you need to. And you know, I'd love to see your progress pictures, but for now, I think that's all I have for you guys. If you guys like this video, if you could do me a favor and smash that like button, cause that really does help my videos to get out there. And also if you're not yet subscribed, go ahead and smash that button as well, because I would love to have you as part of my Simply Misty family. And if you subscribe, don't forget to tap that bell so you can get notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate every single one of you guys. And don't forget to go out there and make today even better than yesterday. And I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye. I don't know why You hit the road But you don't realize I'm on the back when you're around I won't think twice when